Okay. Now, what we're going to do here is 8.7. This is the last thing on the course. It's mad to think we're getting this done in the first week in February. But um, we're in a very, very lucky position. So this is all on page 269 for you guys. I actually think this is going to be one of the things that you're quite strong on because we've based this a lot in the past. So I'm just going to run through basic graphs. So if I tell you that we've got this here, three different ones. Okay. This one, imaginary roots. This one here, it's got two real distinct roots. So two roots, real, same root, because it touches at one place, imaginary roots. Okay, now, if I call this f of x here, I'm gonna draw this next one. And let's say this is a tree. And now this goes down to here. That is now f of x minus tree. Because it's, all of it's gone down by 3. If I said f of x plus 3, it would have just gone up to 6 and looked like that. Okay? Now, we're going to keep with this one as f of x. So, if you think about it, and this is where logic, logic carries you a long way in the leaving cert. If I say this is f of x here, okay? So new f of x, f of x, uh, and let's say that f of x equals to, well, let's say, no, that's f of x, and now I want to, on the same graph, draw 3 f of x, okay? So just think of it at this point. Let's say that point there is 1, 1, okay? So all I'm going to do is my y value is going to be multiplied by 3. Yeah, so it's going to go 1, 3. And that's the point there. And now it's going to be the same on both sides. So all I know is it just goes skinnier. All I'm doing is plugging in the gaps. If this was a half f of x, well, this one is 1. Yeah, so a half of 1 would get me down to here. And then it would look like that on both sides. That's okay explained on uh, page 270 there. Now, the next one is y equals f of x plus a or minus a. Okay. So let's say we've got a graph here. Like this. That's f of x. Yep. Yeah. Well, I want to move it over to here. So let's say this is 0, 0. This is 3. This is now fx plus 3. Okay? Not plus 3, my mistake. Minus 3. And you got to remember, that's the whole root thing. So this one here would be fx plus 3. So to go through that again, if I was going to say for here, for the point 0.5, so it's the same shape, it's just been picked up and moved, that's fx minus 5. And if it's over to say fx plus 5. So, you just got to remember that one, even I forget it sometimes. Now, if I tell you, this is f of x minus f of x it's like drawing a line straight across and mirroring it down so that's minus f of x once again for that you could do your table out and draw it out like that that's all it is like if i'm giving you something here this is f of x Yep. Straight away, everybody's actually good enough to get this one out. They can go, well, that's 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's going to be x to the power of 6. That's going to be the power. The power is to the power of 6. 
Yep. Now, if that's f of x and I want to get 3 f of x, all I know, this is at 1. This here goes up to 3. And down to 3, obviously, that's not the greatest. So on so forth. Yep, not rocket science. So let's replace that gobbledygook there and look at the book. So write down the graph shown in red. Write down the equations of g of x and h of x in terms of uh, f of x. Okay. So y equals the g of x there. Yep. So straight away, if you're looking at, it's a great first question, this is question two. So we're mirroring this one here. Yep. So it goes minus nine is its lowest point. So nine is its highest point. Yep. It's the x-axis is creating the, the mirror image. So this is g of x is minus f of x, okay? So g of x is minus f of x. Now, what about this one up here? Or, yeah, this h of x one. So this, this one up here is going to be, well, it's similar to the minus f of x, but we're adding 3 to each value because it goes up 3. That's up 3, that's up 3. From here to here, sub three. From here to here, sub three. From here to here, sub three. Okay. I'm going to run through a good few more here now. I don't want to give away too much. You can move on if you're bored with this. Right. The function is given by this. Okay. The function is 3 minus g of x represents two changes to the graph g, g of x. Okay. So that's g of x. Which a diagram shows the graph of 3 minus g of x. Well, first of all, g of x, we're expecting it to change shape. It's going to mirror. Yeah. And then it's going to go up by 3. So this would have gone up by 3. So is there anything out there that looks like that whatsoever? Not that. N not that. Not that. This one. There we go. And they're not expecting you to be 100% accurate. This one. The following diagram shows a parabola with the equation, blah, blah, blah. So we know that's a quadratic. Where both a is greater than 0 and b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. So that means it's got real roots. Yeah. If a is greater than 0. Yeah, and I think that goes. Uh, well, first of all. First, if that's greater than zero, get rid of this one, get rid of this one, because they touch it, so that would equal to zero. Now, if a is greater than zero, the right arm points up, always. So that gets rid of that, this works. Yeah, work your way through the rest of them. Tell you, we've done enough of this. I've definitely emphasized this a lot. You're gonna be okay. Um, so, I'm losing track of days. This is Monday's work. So what I want you to do is for Monday, your work is going to be question, work your way through them, one to 10, and then you're finished the, the course. Then what we're going to do is from Tuesday to the end of the week, Tuesday is going to be revision exercises, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday is going to be past papers, which I'll put up. Okay, I'll put sections in for that. Good work. Congrats on reaching the end of the course. Now the hard work is beginning where you have to study even harder. Good work.